This video series is on using Microsoft Project and I'm using the 2016 desktop edition which is similar to other desktop versions. The online version is different though and this is part two. In part one I showed you how to create a Gantt chart from a blank Microsoft Project file, so from a zero base, including some general overview information and some tips. In part two, this video, I will cover using templates, how to do resource leveling and bringing data in from Microsoft Excel, just in case you started with Excel and now want to use Microsoft Project. So we want to go up to File and New. And the first thing I'd like you to notice is that there are lots of different Microsoft Project files for existing projects. So there's a lot of templates in here that can really fast track if, if you're doing any of these kinds of projects. So if you have a look, there's a marketing campaign here, software development, residential construction, market research, lots of different templates. Even a simple project plan is sitting there. So to fast track your development of your Gantt chart or even your project, you might decide to use one of these templates. So let's open one up and have a quick look. Let's have a look at the marketing campaign plan. You can adjust the date, but I'm just going to use it as is. So up comes the Gantt chart. It's already on auto scheduled. I'm just going to move this across to get a better look. And so it has already put in a bunch of tasks and dates, everything already in there. So you could go through and just adjust this for your own project. Decide whether you like the structure. You could change these into names or different roles. Change the times, change the start date. You could do whatever you like to customize something that's already here. The other thing I'll point out down the bottom of this one are these little kind of red people. So what this is indicating is that a task has been over allocated to a particular resource. So what it's saying is this marketing lead has been given too much work. For example, if they're on 40 hours a week, we've scheduled them for a lot more than 40 hours a week. Now, in some instances, you won't mind because you know they're toggling between a few things and they're not actually over allocated. In other instances, you might have made a mistake. So there's a simple way to fix this and Microsoft Project can help us with it. So we want to go up to this resource tab and you can see all the different resource options up here, all the things you can fiddle with. But this one here, level resource, will automatically move the resources around to make sure it fits within their working time, meaning that you haven't over allocated them anymore. So a great way to start just to pick up a project someone else has already done in Microsoft Project and just adjust it. The other thing you may have done is created a Gantt chart or some tasks in Microsoft Excel. So let's have a look at how we could easily and quickly bring that in. So again, we want to go to File and we want to go to New again. This time, we're just going to do a blank project. So in another video, I made a little project in Excel and this is it here, a little house renovation. So the first thing that I'll be wanting to do is make sure that my columns match the ones in Microsoft Project. So if we have a look at that, it goes Task Name, Duration, Start, Finish. We'll leave the predecessors because they work a little bit different in Microsoft Project. So we want this order in our own document. So let's pull that up and means that I have to shift this one. So I'm going to just copy that and paste it over here. I've just gone right click, but you might do Control C, Control V. So it's indicated my weeks. These are pretend dates. If you put in real dates, then it will actually bring those across correctly. So if I just adjust this to, I think that was 2021, for example, it will bring the real dates across. So what we want to do is just highlight the rows we want to bring in. So just duration, start date, end date with the description. I'm going to right click and copy. I'm going to go back to Microsoft Project, click on the first cell here under task name and control V. 
and that's actually going to paste all of that data in. So as I mentioned, where I had placeholders before, it's not going to pick those up as dates. Where I fixed the date, it automatically did that. Yours would hopefully have real dates in. So once again, we're probably unhappy with the structure here. So just like in the last video, we can go back to the task tab and just indent things the way we would like them to be indented to show the proper structure of the project. Uh, I think we went here. Again, if you make a mistake, you can just use the outdent and pulling those ones in. And I think again, this one should have been out. So I go outdent to move that out. Again, I can drag that across if I can't see anything uh, that I need to. So our basic structure's there, your duration's there, you can complete anything that's that's not sufficient. Uh, you can pop that in there as you see fit. You know, it'll just keep to, to whatever time scale you've used. You can then go in, drop your predecessors in again. Remember, you can still double click. You can adjust all the different features uh, through using the task information. That was just a double click to get into that little window. So I hope that's helpful in how to fast track a few things when using Microsoft Project.